Models do eat people. Watch. So she's 23 years old. She's actually a former Miss Earth pageant contestant. And her name is Nella Zisser. I'm probably mispronouncing her last name, but that's okay. And now she's known for these competitive, the competitive food eating. Mm. So she's done the cheeseburgers, which we saw. She's also done Subway sandwiches. She's burritos. done burritos. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's making her name for herself now with her competitive food eating. Interesting. But a lot of people, if you look at the comment section, some people are applauding her. Other people are saying she's trying to make a point because there's this misconception that, that models don't eat. Other people just take issue with whole competitive eating altogether. Thoughts, five words or less. This is weird. I'm hungry. <laughs> In competitive eating, everyone loses. <laughs> Can't stomach competitive eating. Ugh, when yeah. I watch it, I think about, like, stand by me. Yeah. And yeah. like, you know, the pie eating yeah. contest uh, and, and all. everyone throws up everywhere. And anytime I oh, see that, so I know bad. that they're going to vomit afterwards. Like, you it's can't so... eat 16 cheeseburgers and not throw up, right? I just have a problem with her fundamental premise. Like, what do you she's mean? like, this proves that, you know, models eat. No, this just proves that her stomach was empty before. <laughs> like, she's just so empty that she could eat 16 cheeseburgers. Ugh. Because she spent the last like six weeks not eating. You don't know that. See, that's a misconception, and I will defend a lot of thin people. I'm thin a lot. Of, yes, I'm sure in the modeling industry, in the ballet industry, where you have thin people, some of those people are dieting to fit that ideal. Some of them have eating disorders, unfortunately, to fit that ideal. And some of them really are naturally thin, and we have to say that because. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me too. No skinny the, I, You know, they do to, to, they don't even eat to competitive, to train for competitive eating. They drink a lot of water to expand, to their, expand stomach. their stomach. I they drink water and they eat a lot of salad. Like they'll eat a lot of um, like food that is light, but will take up a lot of space. I watched a really interesting documentary on competitive eating to get ready for today. Good for you. I what do you felt, tell me? That's what the you most, learned? That's the most work anyone's ever done for uh, this show. Yes. It's pretty gross. Um, it's really gross. So you know, there's like this one competitive eater. I can't think of his name right now. He's from Japan, and yeah. he'll eat like mounds of noodles. Kobayashi. Kobayashi, yeah, and he'll eat like mounds of noodles with three whole avocados like in the noodles, um, and that's just a regular dinner. So you have like so once you, so you expand prep. once you expand your stomach. You have, like, that's what you have to eat to stay, like, satiated. So like, it's speak. loose. Did you yeah, ever it's, Yeah, it's keep gross. Loose. It's like you, you created this muscle and, like, you need to, like, work it out. When I think of competitive eating, I think of those very specific, iconic movie scenes, and it makes me nauseous. Because when you watch the documentary, after they eat all that, what happens? Do they throw up? No, the weird thing is like because they expand their stomach, they hold it down. I mean, sometimes they do throw up, but a lot of times it's just like that just sits with them. That's and then bad. they have to digest. It's incredibly bad. And you see this girl in the video who is, you know, really thin. And I, it's just, it's a weird. You can still be thin and be unhealthy. You can oh. still be yes, thin that's and have, what, that's what it is. be susceptible to, to have oh, diabetes. It's terrible. And, and clogged arteries. And if you do competitive eat and you hold it down when you poop, it's like that. <laughs> Like Just a big so old you know, candle? Like a, like a giant candle. candle. Purple, like a giant drippy candle. candle. Uh, purple, Sam. That's disgusting. <laughs> Come on, Sam. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.